Money Trade Community. This is Claudine, and I am here with. My name is Klaus Bondam, and uh, Claudine, thank you so much for having me, and uh, thank you for reaching out. I mean, and uh, I think one of the good thing about the whole online community is that you basically get to know people a little bit in advance before you meet them in person. So that's nice. What an honor to have you, Claus, <laughs> and welcome to the cruise industry. <laughs> you have a new role. It's so exciting, and I, you know, I read a little bit about it. I reached out. Tell everybody about your new role. Well, this is uh, the first day where I'm, uh, I'm on a two-digit number of days in the job. Uh, I'm on the 10th <laughs> day in my job as a director of uh, Cruise Copenhagen and Cruise Baltic and a member of the uh, senior management team in the uh, Copenhagen Tourist Organization, wonderful Copenhagen. Uh, and I'm completely new to tourism, I'm completely new to cruising. Uh, so it's a, it's, it's a, it's a mind-blowing, extremely overwhelming, but also enormously inspirational experience to take part here. And I mean, I couldn't think of any better way to start the job by actually, I mean, I actually started with a board meeting back home, but then I, I, I went out here and that has been, um, you know, really, it's a, it's a, I learned something every, not every day that you would normally say, but I basically learned something new every single minute. I love it. And you know what, on behalf of Sea Cruise Global, welcome to the cruise community. So exciting. And this is your first Sea Trade Cruise Global ever. How would you describe this experience? Like, how would you tell someone what Sea Trade Cruise Global is like? I think, from a Danish perspective and even a Northern European perspective, I think, like any other global dialogue or cooperation, you suddenly learn that you are part of a much, 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 much bigger picture and a much, much, much bigger community and much, much bigger uh, family. And I think it gets so much inspiration hearing what others are doing, hearing what they're thinking about. We may have a tendency, uh, at least in the Scandinavian countries, we may have a tendency to kind of believe that we're the front runners, we know everything, we've done everything the right way. But the good thing on being visible and active in the global community is that you learn, ah, oh, there are a lot of other ways of doing it. There are things that we're good at yes. in our part of the world. I mean, I have to say that. But there are also things where I think, for example, the, the warmth, the uh, enthusiasm, uh, the engaging people and welcoming people, I think is, um, is, is good. And then, I mean, there's so many... I mean, to be honest, at least in, in our part of, of the world, there's a lot of myth about cruisers and cruise guests. Yeah. Uh, and I think you actually, I mean, there are so many facts that I'm, I actually had a talk with a Danish journalist this morning, and I'm really looking forward to kind of introduce all these, these facts that are about this industry. That's interesting. That's true. It's, it, it, we, once we come together, we start seeing, hey, this is done this way here, it can work here, or the connection and the engagement. Yeah, but you see, for example, there's a myth that a guest on, on, if you want to be a guest on a cruise line, you are very, very rich. I mean, it's a holiday form only for rich people. Right. The fact is actually that a cruise trip is up to 25% cheaper than a land trip. And I think, I mean, that's one of the myths that, that we are supposed, that we have to communicate right. back home. Another one is that six out of 10 cruise guests will actually return to the destination or yes. one of the destinations that they're visiting. I mean, that's really a good return of investment, yeah. if, if you could put it that way. So Definitely. I think it's all that, I mean, it's all those kinds of myths that we have to work with. I heard another one from an equality perspective that I thought was interesting, that there are more female captains in the cruise industry than there is in the airline. Uh, if you, of course, I mean the fleets are very different in sizes, but I think that's an interesting fact also. Yeah. The access for disabled, uh, disabled people on cruise ships, I think that's an amazing fact that uh, yeah. that I think the world needs to know. Definitely. Now you representing Cruise Copenhagen and the Baltic, right? Yes. How do you feel about this new role? <laughs> Uh, first of all, I, 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 it's amazing in the sense that I'm very proud of where I come from. Yes. I like my part of the world. Uh, it's a... Uh 
it's a it's a cool place, cool literally because it's very cold compared to Florida <laughs> where we have it now. Uh, uh, we also have very changing season. We have something that is extremely beautiful in the uh, all the Baltic countries is that we have these long, 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 long summer evenings. Mm. I mean, whereas in this part of the world, when the sun goes down, it goes down like yes. this. Yeah. <laughs> In Scandinavia and the Baltic it kind of starts at around nine o'clock and it doesn't get real dark until eleven thirty in the midsummer. So that's really beautiful. Experiencing the world in snow can be fantastic. We have a wonderful Danish saying, no such thing as bad clothes. Uh, no such thing as bad weather exists, only bad clothing. Bad uh, clothing. <laughs> so 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 one of the things I mean don't come to the Baltics if you're looking for sun. I mean, I, I can. There's a tons of, I mean, better places to go. But if you wanna experience uh, freedom, nature, mm. not so uh, crowded places, tons of history, strong culture, gastronomy, uh, places where children are actually able to move around very freely, cycling societies. I'm gonna ask you if you. If you know, let, let's say you've been to a lot of different things in your careers, lots of shows. How would you describe this trade show compared to others? Well, it's true. I, I, I mean, I do have a background as, a, as an actor and a theater manager. I've, I've been in politics for uh, over 10 years. I used to be the NGO of the Danish Cyclist Federation. So I've, I've had a career that kind of moves in, in, in a lot of different directions. And, and really seriously speaking, everything I've done in my work life has always been concerned about making sure that the day tomorrow is better than the day today and yesterday. Yeah. So wherever you kind of can, kind of can influence and try to make it a better world for our kids and our grandkids, I think mm. that, that is definitely essential uh, to me. And yeah. I'm always also extremely focused on dialogue, uh, creating communities, working together, because nobody can build and change the world alone. We can mm -hmm. only do it together. And that also goes for a more sustainable, more green transition that I'm so happy to learn that this business is really committed to. Yeah, definitely. The cruise industry yeah. is very committed yeah. to that. If you, um, if we know someone who has never attended Sea Trade Cruise Global and they're coming here for the very first time, why should they come? I think they should uh, walk around, meet as many possible people as they can. Okay. Uh, it's so, you're, you're extremely friendly people. I have to. Uh, <laughs> I think the cruise industry, <laughs> we're yeah. all very friendly. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. So I think walk around, uh, start conversations with people that you may not know, but also follow the. Uh, and now I get serious, but also follow the the, the, the conference track because there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of knowledge that we need to share yeah. and I think one of the essences that, that I, I think I've learned at the conference is that there's a big task of communicating in the future. We need mm. to communicate to local governments, to national governments, we need to uh, communicate to a, a broader civil society and we need to communicate with fact and I'm so happy to learn that there are so many engaged people that really have looked into the stats and, and, and are, are very aware of the positive influences that, 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 that cruise uh, tourism uh, contributes with. Also when it comes to intercultural dialogue and, and, and these kinds of things. Absolutely. I mean, I've never met anybody before from your country. I've never done that before. So, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So, Interesting. Yeah. We're always learning something new. Yeah. Now you took, you took part in a lot of the panel sessions, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. How do you find them? Well, I find them, uh, I find them uh, inspirational and, and, f and for me at the moment, being so new in the business, I, I have kind of the image of a hard disk in my brain, you know, going <laughs> on high speed, uh, learning uh, uh, everything. Buzz, it's been an honor speaking with you. Thank you for your time today. Keep shining. Keep shining. <laughs>